Oh my god, guys. One Piece Chapter 860. Holy shit. Let's just jump straight into the review. So before jumping off to the hype part of the chapter, I'm just gonna elaborate on the first part of the chapter. And as well, I have to state that this chapter was short. It had only 12 pages, 11 pages. And yeah, it was short compared to other chapters, especially last week's chapters, which there was a lot of text into it. And it felt like a really long chapter. In comparison, today's chapter was a bit too short, I think. But the last part was, oh my god. So let's get to the first part of the chapter. So basically, the first part of the chapter is a flashback. And it's about Jinbei explaining that He's gonna basically betray Big Mom and help Luffy. Obviously, he's gonna help Luffy. And this chapter also hinted that he'll become uh, the next Straw Hat. And I do believe that he'll become the next Straw Hat. But there's a slight potential that in this arc, Jinbei might die. And that's really bad. Because I really want him as a Straw Hat. He's been hyped since back to Fishman Island to become a Straw Hat. And he never became a Straw Hat until now. He was basically like a virtual Straw Hat. Because he was always a Straw Straw Hat from the Fishman Island arc onwards, but he was never official as a Straw Hat, that's the thing. And then after that, um, we were introduced to a few new characters which actually look pretty cool. There's like a pirate one, there's like um, a kind of bird one, and yeah, yeah, yeah. There's also like a type of clown, it's not actually a clown, I forgot what what uh, you call you can call that guy, it's, it's the guy with the sight. Basically, these guys are the emperors of the underworld, in which these are probably the guys we've seen in Dressrosa. If I'm not mistaken, they were in Silhouette, so they were blacked out and we couldn't see them actually. But I do so strongly believe that these were the guys that were in Dressrosa. And then the high part of the chapter is here, guys. So, basically, one guy of them, one emperor of the underworld, comes late. I believe he's organ dealer Yaigra, or however you pronounce his name. I always, like, screw them up, the names. And he was discussing it with... Capon Beach, and because he was late and he was saying that last time he had a meeting with Big Mom, he couldn't attend the meeting because he had his mother's funeral and he was talking and he got shot. Like, where did the shot come from? And then the, into the next page, we see that he was shot by one of the three commanders, which is the second son of the Charlotte family, Dr. Charlotte. Oh my god, his bounty is over 1 billion. Are you kidding me? And his... Uh, let me talk about his character design one. He looks so menacing. And he looks so cool, man. I gotta say, he's one of the most interesting characters designed in One Piece up until this point. For me personally. He kind of looks like Law as well. I don't know what is to his face. Like, maybe his eyes. Yeah, his eyes are kind of similar to Law's. The eyebrows similar to Zoro's. And he's a really cool design for me, honestly. And even his costume. His costume is brilliant as well. That look that he made you know that he is menacing and also it has been confirmed that he trains so much his observation hockey that can he he can predict a bit the future that's insane that's like the one at fishman island that, that's what her powers were right she can predict the future something like that that's kind of similar to hers and so basically last chapter the the chapter ends with the quote not quote but the statement finally the party begins whose scenario will win out and that's really a cliffhanger right there we have Three parties, the Big Mom, the Beach, and the Straw Hats competing against each other secretly because the Vinsmoke family don't even know shit at this point and they're like planning all of it behind their backs. Well, obviously we don't know what the Vinsmokes have under the sleeve, but I guess they're just gonna go with the wedding. And I'm just assuming that they will not have something to counteract Big Mom. Maybe they predicted what she's gonna do. I'm not sure. At this point, anything can happen in One Piece. Now, this chapter wasn't the greatest chapter of One Piece. Far from it, in fact. However, the hype behind Dr. Charlotte got me really excited for the future of One Piece and the future of this character right here. He has a lot of potential and can even has potential to stop their entire plan, Straw Hat's crew's plan and Capone Beach's plan. He has definitely the potential to do so. So I'll give this chapter an 8 out of 10. I know that might be a bit high, but honestly, I pretty like this chapter. And what got me into this chapter really good, obviously you might have known now, the hype character that we have been introduced to. 
So yeah guys, that's been my review of chapter 860 of One Piece. If you liked what I had to say, maybe drop a like button, that I would really appreciate that. Maybe subscribe if you want more reviews from me. And yeah guys, share the video with your friends. And it's been Nightmare King here. See ya guys.